Hello everybody, back again, Martin here, back at the old flat that I've been working on for a while. And today I'm actually sitting on the job and I'll show you what I'm sitting on. Because today's job is this, we're going to tile part of the bathroom. So we've got uh, eight boxes here, which I think is about 12 or 13 square meters of tiles. And this stuff, which is adhesive, ready mixed, it's ultimate shower proof. So I suppose only time will tell if that's any good or not. So I'm going to get set up and we'll take you along on the journey with us, okay? Here's all my setup. I've got my tiles there, uh, a level, I've got my tile cutter, adhesive scraper, uh, measuring stuff. I've got a set of wedges here, uh, tile spacers. I've I already planned out where I'm going to start and how I'm going to start it. So I've already cut two, one tile in half into two halves. And I've got a bag of wedges here. Now you used to be able to buy these in screw fix. I think you probably still can, but there are various thicknesses. See that one says three millimeters. And down here, because the floor maybe might be a little bit uneven for the first uh, course, I need to even it all up. So I've got these spacers ready for that purpose. Oh, I also made a little cap there <laughs> to go on top of the pipe so that nothing uh, falls down there. I'm not sure if you can see, but I've also made, uh, I also, last night after work, I came round and I gave this wall a really good coat of SBR. Now, some of this old adhesive here would not scrape off, so I've left it, it'll be fine. But some of this was sort of bare, I don't know, rendering, screed, whatever you might want to call it. But that's now, I don't know if you can tell, but that is completely encapsulated. So I gave that a really good coat last night. Far better than PVA if you use SPR, which I think is styrene, butadiene, rubber, or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to start in that corner with a half tile because when I come up here in courses, um, I need a half tile here. I don't want a whole tile here. And I'll show you when we get there, you'll understand why. Okay, so let's get going. Got all my gear ready. Come along with me and uh, see how we get on. That's the first course in, which is always the most difficult. You need to spend a little bit of time making sure that's all level and vertical and plumb and everything. And then the rest of the tiling goes really easy. So if we look here, right in that corner, the concrete went up into the corner. Now, because that pipe's there, there's no way of cutting that out. So if you see the tiles on the ground there, but along here, it's actually 16 mil off the ground. And then a little bit more here, that yellow one is one mil, so that's 17 mil at this end. But if you look at this, it's all dead plumb. There we go, can't get better than that and no rocking between the tiles so the tiles are definitely in a in a line it's not like one's one's going up the other one's going down or vice versa so i've got all that done it did take a it did take about 15 minutes to get all that sorted out so but now you can just race ahead it's almost like putting lego one on top of the other so i'll put some of you might be saying, what on earth are you tiling the wall for now before you've got anything else in? Because you haven't even got any plumbing in here or anything. There's nothing in the bathroom. It's just a bare wall. But that's the whole point. Because let me show you. Up here, the boiler's going to go on the wall up there. And I did do it once where I put the boiler on the wall when, the, when it was in this condition. And then I had to tile around the boiler and the finish wasn't that good. So I've learned from that, do the tiling first and then put everything onto the wall. And let me show you another thing. Where the water main is here, this is a good example. Uh, this is just hanging in midair and it needs to all be clipped onto the wall. But if I'd have clipped it onto the wall here, uh, on the concrete, I wouldn't be able to tile around it or I would have to tile around it, which would be a really horrible job. So I'm going to put all the tiling up first on this wall and then I can fit all the pipework to it because from the boiler, which is going to be up there, there's going to be quite a few runs coming all down here, down to this piece here, which is going to be the channel for the hot and cold and the central heating to the other part of the flat. 
So it really is the logical thing to do is to put this wall, I'm not gonna do the other wall, I'm just gonna do this wall for now because this is where the boiler is going to go and all the pipe work and it all has to be fastened to the wall with uh, clips. So this really is the logical thing to do. You guys are right down with me at the moment. So you get as close to the action as you're ever gonna get. Now, I can hear you all now going, Ah, oh, you're supposed to grout the wall. Um, grout. You're supposed to put the adhesive on the wall, this and the next thing. I've never done it like that. And this isn't a, a how-to channel. This is a how I'm doing it channel. So, sorry guys. If I don't do it how you like it. But I've always done it this way. I've been doing this for... Oh, bloody hell, 40 years now, and I've never had any problems. Get a nice bit of butter on there. Now look, this wall was, was um, uh, spread with adhesive first, but you can see how little adhesion there was. Most of this is just not being touched. I prefer to do it this way, a nice thick bed. Uh, and I can't even see which way around I'm going, there we are, that's it. This is the half tile. So I get that on there and I give it a really good squeeze in <clears throat> and a little bit of a shake. Make sure it's on first. And then I put one spacer there and then I pull this back and I put one spacer there. <clears throat> Perfect. And then I just want to measure that my 300 is bang in the middle of those two. So if I get my 300, yeah, see that just wants to go over a little bit because I must have I must have cut this a millimetre or two bigger than the other one. If I cut this a millimetre bigger, the difference between the two is two millimetres. So I just need to shuffle that over just a smidge. There we go. And then a little feel that that's okay, that's okay. Of course, all this part is going behind the uh, furniture in here because we're having uh, that uh, built-in furniture. So if I just check that there, spot on. Also, I prefer to put the tile spacers like this. I don't put them in the corners because uh, I, I, I never like doing it. Sometimes, not these tiles, but sometimes the tiles have a little drip on the edge of um, the ceramic surface. And that puts, that puts the whole thing out because they're no longer square. They've got a little lump on the end here. So I much prefer, just like this, just pop one in there. And they're so cheap, they're expendable. In fact, actually you can take them out and reuse them if you're really tight. Anyway, here we go, next one. Let's get on with this. Well, this is a 15 kilo tub of adhesive. I don't think it's going to go very far. Tile cutter, cheapest you can get, but nothing wrong with it. Not 
fill the room in this corner at the moment. Very close to the edge. Huh? Gentle pressure, you can hear it, you can hear it creaking. Nice line. I'll just check that before it goes in. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> what did I say? Measure twice? What have I done there? See what I've done. Yeah, okay. Well, there you are. Measure, measure three times. Cut twice. <laughs> I just forgot what that was now. Five hundred. On earth did I say five five two when it's only five hundred? Anyway, no harm done. Just one mil in. I think I've I think I've put these two in at an angle. I probably should have measured it like this as well, which I didn't. Oh yeah, tiny tiny little bit. But seeing as that is right down at the bottom, behind all the the furniture that's going to be in here, I'm not even going to worry about that. Compared to these the the old fashioned tiles, when I was a kid, all tiles were six inch square. There was nothing else basically. And uh, these tiles are great. These are two feet by one feet. So these are the equivalent of six of those old tiles. And you can see how fast this goes. I've only been here 10 minutes. Okay, here we go. It's quite, it's quite heavy as well, actually. make sure your perpendiculars are perpendicular so I'm just going to try that one there according to the spacer perfect so when you've got big towels like this it really goes quickly I should check for this actually yeah not bad at all Margaret if you remember that advert <laughs> Not bad, not bad at all, Margaret. You have to be a certain age to remember that advert. Still good there, but I don't expect that to change. Uh, and I've run out of tiles. Well, this is the end of today. I'm up as high as the ceiling there. I've just got a few more bits to do. But the problem now is I need to cut some of these tiles lengthways. And, and for that, I've got a tile saw, which is uh, an electric saw. But the problem is, it's bank holiday Monday today, and it's uh, very sunny outside, and everybody's sitting out in their gardens. So I don't feel as if I can make a lot of noise today. So I'm going to finish tidying up here, and 
first thing in the morning I'm going to come back put those tiles on up there and then while they're going off I'll be able to uh, grab the rest of the wall and hopefully I'll get that wall finished tomorrow so come back tomorrow eh? sometimes even with the best planning you're going to have an awkward cut and I have got the most awkward cut possible here so I've marked the tile up and I've got to cut a strip 65 mil wide almost to the end this strip here is 17 mil now I'm only going to do it once if it breaks it breaks uh, I'm actually expecting it to break off over there I have done a job like this before where I spent about four tiles before I got it right but this is a little bit even more extreme than that other one I did once so I'm going to cut along here first and then attempt to cut that off if it doesn't work it doesn't work this end here so that it supports it when I cut that last little bit I can't actually find um, any clamps so I'm making one okay I've got two bits of timber here I've got a bit of tile as the spacer and a couple of screws through there and that will clamp down so hopefully this actually might work So I'm just going to put these on lightly. The spacer is the important bit because it then makes the the clamping force at the end rather than in the middle here where I, where I need it. Whether this works or not, I really don't know. But let's give it a go away. Eh? I can't get this open there. There we go. So I'm going to put that on there, as far as there. And then tighten these up. So there we go, there's my homemade clap. Let's give you a quick look at that. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but here we go. Okay, shot to nothing.
think I've actually done it. Ah. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Unfortunately, it's, it, it's undercut there, so this is going to be really, really fragile. So uh, I'm just going to leave it sitting there. God knows how that's going to um, uh, work with the mastic, with the uh, adhesive. I think I'll have to put the adhesive on the wall instead of on here. So let's give that a go, eh? Here we go. I'm going to put this on the wall, certainly not on the tile this time. Uh, 550, that's going to be about there. Sorry if I'm getting in your way. Spacer here, I only need to support at one end, I didn't actually need to. Let me just let me just show you so there's no cheating. <laughs> that tile is one piece. And that little leg there is 17 mil wide, which is just over five eighths of an inch. So I'm not gonna touch it anymore, I'm gonna give it half an hour. I'm going to go and have a cup of tea and uh, wait until that dries a bit. I'm not even going to try and clean any of that off. I'm just going to leave it. So how's that for extreme tiling, eh? Okay, time for grout. Um, I've had this container for donkey's years and it's such a useful little container. Uh, I think it was Tupperware or something like that. But I've mixed up my grout. It's quite wet at the moment because it will go off so all you need to do is get in those gaps I did just make it a little bit too wet. Well that's it for today, grouting's finished, I'm covered in grout, I'm going to go off home now and uh, get myself cleaned up. So as usual, if you like it, please give me a like and hopefully you'll come back for the next episode. Bye for now.